So Rob, what is, uh, what is Ruckus showcasing at this year's Mobile World Congress? Uh, there's a few things, Jeff. The, uh, probably one of the leading things that we're, we're talking about is uh, smart positioning technology. We've announced something called Spot, which is a, a cloud-based service which allows people to leverage the Ruckus Wi-Fi technology they may have already deployed to provide location technology. And we, we'll develop applications that will allow people to, to leverage that installed base. And then we've opened up um, APIs to the location engine that we have that will allow third-party uh, th third application uh, developers to, to bring you know, additional value to, to the uh, environment that people have got deployed. So I want to come back to that in just a minute, but what are some of the other key things that you're showcasing this week? So we have a, a technology called Smart Cell Insight, which is really a, a big data analytics tool specific for, uh, for Wi-Fi deployment. So you know, most, most vendors of Wi-Fi technology will have some kind of management tool. And, you know, even for us, you could go into our, our zone directors or our SCG and you can get data about what's going on on the network. But the problem with all of those management tools and with other vendors' management tools as well is that the, the, the information is pretty limited. And what you really want to be able to do is gather all of the information over a very long period of time and then be able to analyze and look for trends. Um, and then we always find, especially with service providers, that whatever canned reports that we might provide in, the, in these solutions, it's never the canned report that that service provider wants. They always want a slightly different iteration. So what Smart Cell Insight has allowed us to do is essentially capture every single piece of information that every controller and every access point uh, produces over time. And we can gather multiple years worth of data. And then at any time, the operator can go into the Smart Cell Insight management tool. And there are a whole range of canned reports. But if you want to, you can just completely regard the canned reports. And you can slice and dice the data any way that you want. So, you know, as long as the information resides, as long as the information has been gathered, um, and, it's, and it resides there in the, in, the, in the data pool, the data lake, as we call it, of, of information, you can create whatever report you want. So it means after the event, you can go back and decide you want to create a specific report, look, look for patterns, look for issues, and, and, and you know, manage and, and profile your network like that. And then finally, a quick update on um, uh, Hotspot 2.0. Okay, so. We're, we're moving, you know, within the, the, the Wireless Broadband Alliance, we, you know, we're, we remain a very active member. We, we recently joined the board, and I'm the board member in the Wireless Broadband Alliance. Um, and that, that whole process of next generation hotspot, which is the, the operator's, you know, real world proliferation of that technology, is moving into the, the phase three trials. And, and I think, you know, we're, we're really reaching the tipping point now where operators are starting to take that technology and implement it in real world environments. We just made an announcement uh, this week today, in fact, um, that we've gone live with a hotspot 2.0 uh, production deployment with, uh, with Orange in Poland. Um, we have a number of other networks that we're currently working on and I hope that we'll be able to make some announcements about them in the near future.